and I love that because you know that's probably something that I would have fallen into that trap about saying, well, I'm trying to win-win, but I don't want to upset the other person. Yeah, but that's not yeah. the point. It's not about whether you upset them; it's about whether there's a fair outcome between the two parties. And I think sometimes that's where we can fall foul because, I, you know, I don't know what you know. I know for me, I do like to be liked, right? So that could be potentially one of those things where you could fall foul of that. Oh, well, you know what? Well, you, look, you get it your way, and I'll just, I'll just negate what I need so you get what you want. But then that's really a win lose. It's not a win win. So there is that element where you need to stand up for yourself, and you do need to say. Hey, this is what I I want, but there might be some sort of negotiation. But it's about making sure that you are able to express what you want in a way that the other can consider, so they you can both negotiate something that works for both of you, right? Rather than one of you capitulate. If they go, do you know what? Don't worry about it. You just take it all. And there is a temptation to do that as well, isn't there? If someone said to you, "Hey, look, don't worry about it. You just have that," it's the other way, isn't it? Hundred percent. Yes. They may be saying that, but what do you think they might be thinking? Right? They're thinking. Oh, well, I can't be bothered. Let them win. But then they're never going to come back and do business with you. They don't, they, you know, the, the bank account is going to shrink and the whole thing's going to start falling apart because they felt that the negotiation was too hard. So if it's in a situation, I can ask you, if in a situation, you're, if you've ever, ever had a situation where you've had a negotiation, you've negotiated quite hard and they said, don't worry about it, you just keep X. Have you ever had that happen? And if you have, what's been your experience? Well, where they've almost backed out of the situation. They've backed out of it and said, like, don't worry, but you just do it your way. I'm just going to, go along and just do with that have you ever had that yeah i'm certain without i can't think of any specific examples right now but without question there would have been times where i'll be trying to reach an outcome that involves other people and they would have not wanted to be involved in it and i think it's probably fair to say there could be umpteen different reasons it might have been something they just weren't ever going to be bought into but i dare say that there's probably not enough of that consciousness of the win-win being involved to have you know created a better outcome it's back to the, the control thing and the choices thing we always talk about is you you've got to look at those sort of situations and think what could i have done differently sometimes it may be nothing quite often it will be and i think almost using that win-win as a benchmark how well did you do against that is probably the first question you should ask in those situations that's almost how you start to self-coach i would say uh -huh.